So, we're home with this little beauty. Finally. How's the day we got though? Ah, but yeah. So we've gone the uh, the opulence, uh, Roma. Uh, yeah, 2005, a little bit older, but absolutely massive, 24 foot. We thought it was only 22 when we bought it, but uh, 24, but uh, here she is. Let's, uh, let's see what, uh, what's in store for us. So right there, bunks. <laughs> Got to ripple this out. Have a crack. Over here. It's all our kitchen. Stuff. Our bedroom. We've just uh, sold our bedroom suite inside the house. So uh, we've just got the mattress in, and that's what we'll be sleeping in for uh, the next couple of weeks till we get all this done. Look at paint. Shower over there. Toilet over here. Oh yeah, let's start ripping some stuff out. Woohoo! All right, progress. Bunch of stuff. Getting it, just the top to go. Um, wasn't even thinking, for some reason in my head, I had that these were gonna be under the, uh, like under the main flooring. Um, Cause we're gonna have the bunks flat. But um, but that's all right. The uh, that far battery was was about there on the inside, so I just uh, unscrewed it and um, put it back over there. So this one here, there's still a bit of room there. Our big boy is quite large. He uh, yeah, so he was going to go on the bottom just because of the weight. But um, I might have to put the young fella down there, and maybe the uh, the big fella in the middle, and the girl on top. But uh, but we'll see how we go. We'll measure them out when we when we get home. And um, and yeah, but all good. Getting there. All right, the kidley winks coming home. Here we go. That's right. It's all right. Can't do it. Can't make any more of a mess than I've already made. Oh, I did the shower. Oh, there's like a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where the bath is. Is it the toilet? Yeah. What do you think? Are these going to be our beds, like right here? Yeah, back at the back there. Oh. Got three big bunk beds right here. Oh, it's huge. That's going to be so cool. Pretty cool? Yeah. yeah. I love this. <laughs> it's bigger than my classroom. Pretty cool. What do you think? Amazing. <laughs> All right. So what we've decided is that um, we really want the bunks to be all sort of the same size. Um, there probably would be enough room here, but we want to um, utilize that whole space so the kids have got nice, big, huge beds. So they do adults as well. So that there is the boot. Um, we spare tire is those bits of MDF just there, uh, just where the uh, the brackets screwed in. Um, so I figure I'm just undoing all the screws now. So this that just comes off. That's only sheet metal. So I reckon I'll be able to cut that out and um, either we've got a bunch of room. Here, you can see, I can either redo a framework up and then put this maybe on an angle, or I can just still slide in there. Or um, I'm thinking it might even fit in there because the other side of that anyway, on the other side, like I said before, is where the batteries go. So I can't take them out anyway. So I might be able to make that work. Anyway, we'll see how we go. All right, so. Better than I thought, actually, to be honest with you. We've got a hole back here. That was actually quite uneventful. Turns out that that piece of the backing 
of where your spare wall went if you look from the inside was just um, screwed on and loose not actually fixed to, Vic, uh, fixed to the van in any way so um yeah that came out pretty good I'll just have to box in all the uh, all the cords but uh, pretty simple enough and uh, yeah we are we're looking pretty good actually sweet all right here we go day two let's see what do we got going on today so today is measuring and uh, hopefully one but I reckon she's gonna be at least oh, four trips to Bunnings but we want to measure and we want to start getting some of these bunks in a wifey with the paint first undercoats done bit of a weird sort of material we're hoping it's gonna paint a bit better than that but um but first coat anyway it's so hopefully the second coat and the third coat will come up um schmigo. here we go all right quick update what a day Going from uh, pretty stressful um, to sort of getting a bit overwhelmed. Um, Let's make this a little bit away from your face, eh? Yeah, getting pretty overwhelmed with it all. Just trying to work out where things should go. There's obviously this power here, there, and everywhere, and just ah, oh, just getting very cloudy. But um, we slow down with a deep breath, and uh, yeah, got it done. Here we go. So, where are we at? Painting. Well, yeah, a lot of painting, but come up, second coat, come up, pretty good. Uh, probably need another one, but uh, but yeah, so far so good with that. We've boxed in, um, we've boxed in as it was before. That was all open, and um, the the spare wheel is is behind that. So I've boxed that up, uh, pretty much like it was before, but but I've I've squished it a bit more. So. Um, I pushed it back a bit more, so there's not as much room in the back for the spare tire, but there's still enough. I've put the bracket in and, and it works, no dramas. Um, so yeah, so we've got our, our rails in for the back. Um, we realise it's over the windows, but um, we're hoping in about six months time um, we might be back in Adelaide. We might have a few months off or we might even think about moving windows and stuff, but we'll see how it goes anyway. For now it's about functionality. Functionality? Is that the right word? Functionality? Yeah. But yeah! Big day, got there. So tomorrow um, I've moved some power. So, um, but I've only got bloody one of those little things. So I need to, um, before I can fix all this, this, this sheet goes up there. Before I fix that, I need to go to, back to Bunnings tomorrow and get some more stuff. But, uh, but yeah, good day. All right, day three. Here we go. Plan. The plan is two. Get these bunks in. Well, the framework, at least. Um, my daughter's netball, so that's gonna damper a couple of hours. Not really damper, it's a good thing. But that'll hold me up for a couple of hours, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get these bunks in. These framework, at least. Um, yeah, supported all the back, so that's all done. I think I've made sure it's all done. Done. Uh... This here, I've built all this in. This is our, um, all our battery system. Oh, the wife's painted over it. See? All the batteries and stuff in there. So that's all good. Boom. Day three, here we go. All right, so stopping for lunch, take Tay to netball. But pretty successful day, really, up to and out. Um, yeah. Well, the framework in. Just need the um, the side supports so that the mattress go on. Another lick of paint. But uh, yeah, so I've made sure that all my cross beams are on top of um, vertical beams. So obviously all the pressure is going down, not, uh, yeah, just gonna fall with the screws. It's actually got something to lean on. So I've made sure that um, basically, yeah, they're all done like that, but yeah. Progress. 
Way bunks. <laughs> hey, little booty. That will come out tomorrow and uh, just sand down all the bog and stuff. Make it look pretty. Make it look pretty, just like you, Wifey. Oh. You beauty. Don't look too closely. <laughs> All right, day four. Day four. Here we go. What have we got going on today? Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, they don't make these uh, the vans for the giants. So painting is coming up, Schmicko. Just don't look too close. Nah, it's all good. All good. Looks fantastic. So we're just basically today's just about touching things up, and if something looks a bit light here and there, we'll we'll do that. We've got a bog and paint in there, so I can finish your bunks off. So we bogged up all the little holes yesterday. Um, get some more paint on it, and then tomorrow I should be able to fit them out completely. Go order some mattresses, and uh, yeah, we are almost there. The bench tops. We're gonna get new bench tops made, but we're thinking now. Um, I've, like I've mentioned before about us um, having some more time in Adelaide where we'll have the van for, you know, four or five months. So we'll be able to actually see exactly what we want from this thing. But for now, thinking about just getting the bench top uh, paint you can just get from Bunnings. Never used it before. But, um, yeah. So it was like, there's odd bits and pieces. It's a bit hard to get the cabinetry made to have someone come out and fit it out. And I'm not, I don't really want to measure everything up and, and take it in just in case it's not right. So we might paint it. See how it looks. Anyway, we'll keep you posted. Woo! Hey, day. Day five. Good day. Really at the pointy end. Uh, pretty pumped. Uh, bunks are looking schmicko. Uh, yeah, really excited. Uh, bottoms are, are, are fixed in. Just gotta fix the top in. Um, gotta make some cupboards just right at the end here. Just something for the kids to store toys and stuff in. Just had some MDF that I had left over from uh, doing some other stuff. So uh, we'll just put them there and there. Um, the 11 year old's quite large, I may have mentioned before. So these are good because these come right out. These are a lot bigger than sort of like your new your brand new um, caravans that you buy. He just fits comfortable in a 6.2. Um, yeah, <laughs> not bad for an 11 year old. Uh, these are a lot bigger than that. So these could fit an adult. I could I could get up there and I'm 6.5. So pretty excited about that. A lot wider too, the top one's real wide. Um, about 900, I think. So uh, that's quite nice, but yeah, painting. Look, Schmicko, the wife, did such a good job here. Um, got the new door handles. Just to sort of modernize, modernize it a bit um, with that old school, modern sort of look. I like that look. Um, so, so yeah, uh, these are the floorboards that we're gonna put down. So they're, the, uh, they're like a, a lino floorboard with an adhesive back. Um, so, They'll hopefully go in today. It all depends on, uh, see the bench tops we're gonna get, um, we're gonna redo the bench tops. We're thinking that we might um, get a restorer in, someone that can um, paint them for you, because I'm just putting that in the way too hard basket for myself. So I'm gonna give him a call today and see what happens. But yeah, day five, success. We're gonna go measure the mattresses up today. And um, from Clarkson Rubber. And uh, yeah, away we go, boom. So update of day five. Oh, what a day. Absolutely smashed it out. Um, I don't even know where the lights are this thing here. Here we go. So yeah, bunks. Um, oh, same as the other day, I think, pretty much. But um, floorboards. Oh, just what an absolute amazing um, result really the floors oh and uh, bench chops so we went to Bunnings and we found some paint um, yeah so good 
Unbelievable. Um, wifey, once again, she's the painter in this uh, in this family, and um, what a amazing difference. If you look at our before photos, wow. We're happy anyway. We're happy. We're happy. But uh, yeah, great day. Oh, it's really getting towards the end now. Like, um, we've ordered our mattresses as well. So, um, yeah, we'll pick them up for oh, two to three days. Um, all custom made. Um, yeah, comfy. We went, you know, the good quality ones. The kids are going to be sleeping on them. Um, I was laying on the top bunk today. Um, you know, I'm not that light and I'm quite large and I felt really safe, secure up there. Um, ah, oh, just wow, just wow. What a day, what a day. Awesome. I had some sun today too, finally. All right, see you tomorrow.